Okay, today we're going to talk about how to optimize a YouTube video for search engine optimization. You got to remember that YouTube is a search engine. Some people say it's the second largest search engine next to Google. I don't know if that's true, but everyone says it. Okay, so here we have um, a lawyer who has wrote, who has made a YouTube video called Four Important Things to Be Prepared for in Your U.S. Marriage Green Card Interview. Okay, now it's a good video. In a perfect world, they would have used their cell phone like this, horizontal. Uh, the reason you see these two white blank spaces here is because they filmed it like this, vertical, which works great for social media like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. However, YouTube is primarily a landscape property, so you need to film horizontal, but no big deal. Um, the major issue is caused by the fact that YouTube is a search engine. And so most people will never see this video if they can't find it by coming to this search bar here and searching something like green card lawyer, something like that, right? So she made a video called Four Important Things to Be Prepared for in Your U.S. Marriage Green Card Interview. And sometimes you have to kind of manipulate the title to actually rank for search. The, the, no one's ever going to go to YouTube or Google and search three things to know about or four things I need to know about. What they're going to go search is how do I get my green card lawyer or how do I prepare for marriage green card interview? So <clears throat> that being said, I'm going to manipulate this title. Um, let me pull that up. Okay, so here we are. This is that same video. I'm just going to click on edit. Okay, so when dealing with YouTube SEO, uh, the most important thing is going to be the title, right? So we want this video to rank for green card lawyer or Boston green card lawyer, because this person's in Boston, or Massachusetts green card lawyer. But just green card lawyer would be good too. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this, change this title to Boston green card lawyer. Now look, the client may be upset, like, don't be changing my titles, whatever. So in that case, I'm going to copy this copy and I'm just going to put it like right here and I'll say like maybe this is the title in the description okay that way if I need to I can just bring it back but what I'm going to do instead is go Boston Green Card Lawyer dash how to prepare for and then most people in the world that are searching immigration, they're searching U.S. immigration. So you just don't need to put U.S. You just put how to prepare for marriage green card interview. Okay. And that's perfect. Now you see 75 out of 100. We still have some characters. You don't always have to use all the characters. But <clears throat> sometimes it's an easy way to steal some more long tail. So what if someone, instead of searching Boston green card lawyer, they searched Massachusetts green card lawyer. Well, this could be a good place to go. Like just throw Massachusetts. You know, now we've got green card lawyer covered. We've got green card attorney covered. We've had Boston green card lawyer, Massachusetts green card lawyer, Massachusetts green card attorney, how to prepare for marriage green card interview. Okay. Anyways, we're, we're maximizing this title, but you always want to put your most important keyword first. And so Boston green card lawyer would be kind of the most important. Also how to prepare for marriage green card interview would be most important. If you really wanted to, you could get rid of this how to and just make it prepare for marriage green card interview. And now you've got even more left here. Um, typically someone that's using YouTube to learn something, they'll go type how to, like how to optimize a YouTube video, how to lose weight, how to prepare for marriage green card interview. 
And then Google is going to re return like an answer. So we're kind of answering that question. Prepare for marriage green card interview. Uh, you could have also said like Brooks Law Firm, but you can always cover branding in the description. Okay, what I like to do in the description. Okay, so title is the most important SEO aspect of any YouTube video. That's why Google puts it here first. What I like to do now is in the very first thing in the description is to link to whatever article on your website covers this particular topic. In this case, we could go check the blog. Uh, all right, let's do that right now. Go check the blog. We'll see, do they have a green card page or do they have a marriage green card blog article? And we could link to both of them. Um, first, primarily, we're gonna use the YouTube video to rank, to help rank the relevant page by backlinking to it. And we're also gonna put a relevant link in the description and that tells Google this video is relevant to this topic. So we're helping the YouTube video and we're helping the article at the same time. Okay, also when this YouTube video appears on YouTube, people are gonna see this backlink in the description and that may, now we're using YouTube to drive traffic from YouTube to that relevant article. So that's why you put the link first in the description, okay. Then you can say, you wanna put the keyword next, like Boston, some version of the keyword. And you can just easily say, Boston, Massachusetts, green card attorney, Arenda Brooks, reviews the top four. And then you can grab this, cut, reviews the four important things to be prepared for in your US marriage green card interview, period. Okay, uh, in a perfect world, you'd have like a good 300 to 500 word description. Uh, you can kind of ad lib that, make it yourself or summarize right here what you say in the video. Uh, having SEO in mind, having keywords in mind. So I, I haven't even read this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy like maybe this right here. You wouldn't wanna recopy the whole article, but <clears throat> if you are someone making YouTube videos, just re-summarize because Google reads this. You know, they can't read what you're saying in the video so they don't know you know, you could have a video about panda bears here, but as long as you have a green card description, Google's bot is reading this description, even though you're talking about panda bears up here. And now they know you're relevant towards green card. Okay. So you have a description. We've linked out to the relevant article. Is there anything in the blog about marriage green cards? Let's go check. I don't see anything. If there was, you could also link to that as well. Yeah, nothing else in the blog about that. Okay, so the next most important thing is your thumbnail. Ideally, you should never use a thumbnail like, like this. You, you wanna go create a thumbnail that gets people's attention and I'll show you why by doing this. I'm gonna go to YouTube. Let's imagine I wanted to learn how to sell SEO. So I go to YouTube and I do a search for how to sell SEO. Okay, well, one, I'm going to, what's well, first thing that pops out is what? It's not the titles, it's these thumbnails. And so you want to increase click through rate by having a relevant thumbnail. Okay, so let's imagine I picked this one just because it was the first ranking one. Well, the SEO isn't over. Now I have all these thumbnails to choose from. You know, Google's showing you, hey, you might, if you're looking at a how to sell SEO, 
you might also want these videos. And now I'm going to choose the most, the thumbnail that stands out. So it's not always your ranking that drives views. It's also the thumbnail. You know, that's why this thumbnail is optimized. How to sell SEO, you know, it's to increase click through rate. So your thumbnail needs to increase click through rate. Um, I don't have a, a thumbnail right now, but you would go to Canva and up, upload a thumbnail. Let's see, maybe I do have one. Okay, so we had to go to, we had to go to Canva to create a relevant thumbnail, right? And we just used a picture of the person that made the video. And then we put text on here designed to increase the click-through rate. If somebody saw this thumbnail inside of YouTube and they just happened to be on YouTube because they were watching videos about marriage green card interviews, we want this thumbnail to draw their attention. And so what did we put? Marriage green card interviews, a how-to guide. Okay, so not only is what is on the image or not only is the image itself important in order to increase click-through rate, but the title of the image is important. The title of the image file is important because Google's going to read that. So you would want to make this title relevant. So what I'm gonna make it is Boston Green Card Lawyer Marriage Interview. Green Card Marriage Interview, whatever, okay. The title is important. The title of the image file is important. So we're going to go back to this video. And you can see that the client just left the general title name, IMG-6425-MOV. That's the, the, the title of the video is important as well as the title of the thumbnail. This is the video title, but you could, they didn't use a thumbnail at all, but they should have saved this video file as marriage green card interview questions or prepare for marriage green card interview. They should have made the video file name relevant to what the video was about. Because like I said, you could be talking about panda bears inside of this video and you, Google doesn't know that. So they don't know what it's relevant. But if they see the file name is prepare for marriage green card interviews, then they know that this video is relevant for marriage green card and it helps to rank. So next time you make a video, save it as what the, what you're trying to rank this video for. All right. And same thing goes with the thumbnail. When you create a thumbnail and you upload it, we're going to save it for what we're trying to rank for. Boston green card lawyer. Prepare for marriage interview. All right. I'm going to download this. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Download. Boom. All right. Okay. So where, where am I? Okay. I'm in the right screen now. Okay. So what you can see is we've changed the thumbnail. Okay. This used to be the thumbnail, right? It's kind of weird, doesn't draw your attention. It's also vertical versus horizontal. Now this is the thumbnail and it's gonna draw your eye. It's gonna increase click-through rate for one thing because it says marriage green card interviews, which is the exact topic you went to YouTube to search for. So if you see it here in the sidebar and it says marriage green card interviews, you're gonna click on that once you get done watching this video, if you even finish watching this video, because maybe this person's boring and then you see some thumbnail that looks interesting. And so you just click this one. Now you've, even though you didn't outrank this video, you still stole that view because your thumbnail. Okay. Secondly, this thumbnail is named Boston green card lawyer, prepare for marriage green card interview. You know, it's relevant. So Google can read that and rank it. All right. So that's thumbnail. So we've covered the title which you just want to make a keyword relevant title. We've covered the description. You put the link to, if you have a link, it, you want to drive traffic to your website when you use YouTube. So if you don't have a relevant 
inner page, like blog article or inner page, then just link to your home page. You want to drive traffic. You want someone to watch this video and then go to your website, call you and hire you. So the first thing should be the link that you want them to go to. Then what do we do? We started out with some kind of keyword relevant first sentence. We got Boston, Massachusetts, green card attorney, right in the first word. And then we also got kind of the topic, prepare for marriage green card interview. All right, here's another keyword, 300 to 500 words here. Of course, that's not, that's probably only like 100 words, if so. All right, so we've got the thumbnail now, playlist. If you have a relevant playlist, put this in that relevant playlist. This is an immigration topic, so we put it inside the immigration topic. All right, is it made for kids? Typically, no, you're not going to be making videos for kids, all right? You always want to click on this show more because now you got to add tags. And we're talking about tags right now. In a minute, we're going to go talk about hashtags. All right, but right now we're just talking about tags. So I'm going to click on show more. Okay, these are this. the client wants to rank for their own brand. So they put their brand name here, which is good. But you also want to rank for the keywords. So you're going to put the keywords here. Okay, so an easy way to decide what tags do I want to add is to go look at whoever's ranking for this topic and reverse engineer their SEO and use those same tags. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome right now, and I'm going to do a search for green card lawyer. And we're just going to reverse engineer the number one ranking video. And you can see it's this one right here. Okay. So if you look right here, this is a Chrome plugin called tube buddy, T U B E B U D D Y go to Google Chrome and just do a search for tube buddy Chrome plugin, install that plugin on your Google Chrome. And when you do that, now you can reverse engineer other people's videos. So I'm going to click on this video. The first one ranking for the term green card lawyer. Just going to pause it. Okay. Now, because I have that tube buddy plugin installed, you can see right here, this is video lytics. It's also tube buddy, but it's showing me the tags that they used. Well, in this case, they used immigration attorney tags. So we we'll want to use that immigration attorney. We're not going to say New Jersey. We're going to say Boston. So let's go back to ours. And we're going to type in, we hit a comma and then that happens. And then we'll type in Boston immigration attorney. We hit a comma, that happens. We're also going to add the obvious ones like green card lawyer, comma, Boston green card lawyer, comma, green card marriage interview questions. Uh, okay, let's go back and reverse engineer a couple more. We're going back to Google Chrome, I'm right here. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna reverse engineer this person, the number two one. Now, if you look, even though this person's ranking, they only have 1,800 views versus number two has 20,000 views. So it would probably have been a better idea to reverse engineer this lawyer in the first place. Okay. Just has more views. Wait for the ad to play. We're going to skip it. I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to see what TubeBuddy finds. Okay. This is the TubeBuddy plugin. They're finding how to get green card, how to get a green card, four ways how to apply for a green card. So these are all good tags to use. So we're gonna just go steal these tags, family green card. Uh, what happens if I go copy to, copy tags? I'm just gonna copy that. Copy to clipboard. Let's just use all the ones. So we don't want McBean law, we don't want the brand, so we're gonna uncheck that. All right, I'm gonna copy this to clipboard. 
And then what happens if I go back to my video and I just paste? Does it work? I'm about to find out. Yeah, so now we've got all those. And then let's go ahead and delete some of the ones that we don't need because we've exceeded the character count. So we have the brand. We can go ahead and delete this version of the brand, delete this version of the brand. You want to keep the attorney. Do we really need immigration attorney when we've already got it, all this? I don't know. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, now we're good. Just by doing that little reverse engineer, we got all the tags we needed. Okay. Uh, now you want to carry on. You're going to have to select language. Well, of course, this is in English. So let's go English, United States. Caption certification. I'm just going to leave that blank. Title and description language. Make sure you're doing English, United States. Assuming this video is in English. Now, this particular lawyer has some Portuguese language, has some Spanish language. In that case, you changed it. Okay, recording date. If you know the date it was recorded, use that date. If not, just use today. Okay, video location. This is extremely important because we're trying to rank this in a particular city. And so to leave it blank is just not good. So for this client, they're trying to rank inside of Boston. So we're going to do a search for Boston. And you see right there, Boston MA. That's exactly what we need. All right, standard YouTube license, distribute everywhere, allow embedding. Uh, I don't know. You can leave this checked or unchecked. doesn't really matter. Whatever category, people in blogs is typically pretty safe. I'll just use that one. Uh, okay, so we're going to save all those changes. All right, what else? Okay, like I said, in a perfect world, the file name would be relevant to the keyword you're trying to rank. You wanna make sure it's public. Okay, now this end screen, you always wanna add something there, so I'm gonna click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add element and we'll just go like video. I like to do best for viewer. It lets YouTube, YouTube looks at their search history and decides which one of our next videos to show this particular person. So save. All right. And I'm thinking what we can do is just go take a look at this thing. Go take a look. All right, so right away you can see the meta titles change now. And it's what? Boston Green Card Lawyer, Prepare for Marriage Green Card Interview, Massachusetts, Attorney, whatever. All right, you see this little local pin? That's because we put Boston. Now Google's saying people in Boston that are searching on YouTube for immigration topics, this is extremely relevant for you. It's got a local pin right there. Uh, we manipulated the title to have what we want it to have. We got a link. This is what I, this is why you put the link first, because if it was down here, they wouldn't see it. They'd have to click show more. So the first thing they see is a link. Maybe they just go right to that page and call us. Um, and then we got what in the description, we have the keyword that we want. Prepare for marriage, green card interview. I'm going to click show more. What we didn't put were any hashtags in the show more. So let's go back. Typically at the bottom, I'll put hashtag keyword. So Just one to five hashtags will work. 
uh, then you might do some branding inside the description, uh, which is just NAP, name, address, phone number. This particular client is a service area business, so there's not going to be an address, but it will be city, phone number, which is what? And then typically I'll link to the home page or whatever page is most most relevant for this particular client. Save it again. Let's just do a refresh. Okay, you can see they've got the thumbnail. They've got the local tag, updated title. I'm gonna click on show more. You can see the link. You can see we've got hashtags, name, address, phone number. Click out to the home page. Okay. And of course, you can't see the actual tags that we used unless you go to Google Chrome with your TubeBuddy installed. Let's see what else we got here, though. Any other information we can garner from TubeBuddy? Mm, nothing really. All right, let's look at our YouTube video inside of TubeBuddy. I'm just going to pause this. All right, I'm going to scroll down and you can see the TubeBuddy plugin. And here's all of our tags. So we're golden. Uh, let's go to the actual. Yeah, it hasn't updated this thumbnail yet. But it will. Okay, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to search engine optimize a YouTube video. And if you just go to edit video, it's all explained. Just follow the follow what Google gives you. You know, I'm gonna click edit video just to review one last time. All right. First, you want a keyword relevant title. You want in the description link to a relevant page could even be your home page if you don't have a relevant article within the first sentence you want that keyword again boston green card attorney and then this is kind of like a secondary keyword how to prepare for marriage green card interview you want about 300 to 500 words uh if the client doesn't provide that just go rip something off of their website you want some hashtags that are keyword relevant and then I like to just throw in name, address, phone number, link to the homepage. You want a thumbnail that is optimized for click through rate, meaning it's going to grab someone's attention when it's sitting here in the sidebar. But you also want that thumbnail title optimized for SEO. So the title of the thumbnail image file should be relevant to whatever the video is about. If there is a playlist that exists for these particular videos, put them in that relevant playlist. No, it's not made for kids. You click on show more. This is what a lot of people don't do because Google kind of hides it now. Click on show more. Now, what do you want? You want, you want relevant tags, like go after the obvious ones. Of course, green card, immigration, whatever. Then go look at whoever's winning for this search and reverse engineer their tags. Add those same tags. You want... You want to fill out the language, the language, recording date. This is extremely important, this location part. Whatever city you're trying to rank in, put that city there. Sometimes you may be like the Texas divorce lawyer, and you're not so concerned about the city. Well, in that case, just type Texas and see what suggestions they give you. And if it's just the whole state, click on that as opposed to a city. Uh, always allow people to embed. People in blogs is typically the one I always select. Okay, so we talked about that. Then what? The video file, don't use, don't let the camera choose what the name of the video file is going to be. Name it whatever the keyword you're trying to rank for is. Okay, make sure this visibility is public. And then I always 
put the end screen so that they're suggested our next video. We want them to stay on our video, increase watch time, increase the chance that they're going to call us. And that also helps increase your YouTube channel ranking if Google sees people spending more time on your channel. And with that end screen, I select best for viewer. Cards, a lot of times people don't have the ability to link to their website yet. They don't have enough views or enough videos, so I don't typically mess with cards unless I'm on my own YouTube channel. All right, and that's it. Let's uh, watch this video real quick so you can see what the end screen is about in case nobody realizes what that's about yet. Okay, so you can see the video is playing, and shortly as it begins to end, YouTube su should suggest a next video for us to go watch. See that? So it's like, hey, you might want to go look at benefits of citizenship. And now they click on it and they're still on our channel and YouTube starts to rank our entire channel higher. Okay, and then look at this title, benefits of citizenship. And then look at the videos that YouTube suggests over here. Immigration answers, UCIS, United States Custom Immigration Service. So YouTube is looking at me, at my search history, saying, you've watched immigration, let me recommend some immigration stuff to you. Now, if these had better thumbnails, I might go watch them, but they don't. Okay, so that is all about YouTube search engine optimization. Uh, talk to you soon.